Welcome to the Servoid Guide tutorial entitled SQL Query Builder. My name is Scott Butler and I'll be your host. The SQL Query Builder is a Servoid component that allows developers to visually create their SQL statements. So it has a drag and drop ability so that you can uh, choose tables, choose columns, uh, have your joins and your where statements all visually created. So let's take a look at it. First, I'm going to open up a sample solution that we have from Bob Kuzik at uh, Cookware.com. So basically, this solution allows you to paste in a SQL statement and execute it, and you can see the results returned back. If you want to go and get this particular solution, you can find the link at my resources page. So first, let's take a look at the plugin that we've created. So we go to Tools, Plugins. And if you have it installed correctly, you'll see the Servoy Guy SQL Query Builder option. So let's choose that. And then it shows us a prompt for what database connection do we want to use. So it's automatically reading my current connections that I have set up for my Servoy development. So let's choose which one we want to use. Let's use UDM for now. Have to do a little resizing here. So a quick overview, on the upper left we have a little tree node where this is a visual representation of our query. On the bottom left we'll have our tables. In the upper right we'll have our, our area where we'll actually uh, visually design the query. And then over here we'll have the syntax. So we can actually see the SQL statement that's being created. So first let's start and we need to choose our schema here. So we need to use DBA since that what, that's what we're logging in with. And let's start with just a simple one using companies. So we'll take and drag companies on there. And you can see it automatically fetches all the columns in that table. So some of the things that you can do with this, uh, if I were to right click here, I have some option like uh, select all the columns or deselect all the columns. I can have it automatically open up all the foreign tables. So if I find primary and foreign key constraints in my backend database. And I can open up all primary tables. I can also do similar things with the columns. So I can right click and I can do some things like add a where condition. So if I do that, I'm going to pop up where I can do something to the effect of uh, I want to filter the records that are returned back such that the URL only equals uh, like servoid.com, for example, it's something that I can help with. But we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, there's also a similar option for a having condition. The most basic functionality is that you'll just check the columns that you want to have returned. So if I just check these two, you can see over here that those two are now going to be selected. So they'll be returned back. So let's just stick with that for now. A uh, simple query. Let's see exactly what this query is. So you can see we're just selecting a couple of columns from that table. So when I click copy query to clipboard, that's going to copy it and close the window. So then I can come over here and just paste. And I'll choose my connection and we can execute that. So you see I have uh, four results returned. So let's do a little bit more with this. Let's go back into our Query Builder, continue working with UDM, and this time we're actually going to do a, a join across multiple tables. So we're going to go back and choose DBA, we'll go back and choose Companies, so we'll drag that on there, and there's also uh, Orders, so we'll drag that one on there as well. And the first thing I want to do is create the join from these two tables. So I know that there is a company ID in here somewhere. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. So what we need to do is drag from one table over to the other table and just let go. You can see it automatically creates that line for us. So then I can double click and I can actually edit the properties of this join. So right now it's a standard echo join, but I could also do some more things like less than, greater than, and there's a not equal to option down here. I can also define whether I want it to be a left or right outer join here. So if I want to get all the orders or companies, even if there's not matching records. 
And then let's select uh, the other things that we want to return. So let's return the company name. And uh, what else do we want to return here? How about some, maybe some shipping information. So I see a ship postcode. Let's also go ahead and pull in the, the primary key. So we'll do the company ID and the order ID. And there's a freight option. We'll go ahead and put that into our fleet. So we'll copy this query to clipboard again. And we'll come back over here and hit paste. And let's run this one. So you can see I got the columns I asked for back. I have the company name, the uh, shipping total, which happened to be empty on these, all their order IDs. That was the primary key that I selected. And there is the order freight, which also just happened to be so you can do this for more than just uh, building queries and testing them. You can also use them in your editor. So for example, when you're doing some coding, let's do a little resizing here again. So let's pretend I had this new method. And you're using database manager dot get data set by query. move a sample over there. Well, instead of having to type out this query, you can just clear this out, put in your quote, and do a paste, and your quote, and now you've got your SQL statement all pasted in there for you. Another nice thing you can do is back in the query builder, you can add a where clause and put in a question mark for the value of the where statement. And then that will allow you to continue to use the prepared statements with the arguments array. That's the end of our SQL Query Builder tutorial. Uh, if you need any more information on Servoy components or you'd like to go and download this, please go to servoyguy.com.